Or that's your whore. And I ain't dealing with no whores tonight. I just won't be. My Christian heart can't be put through that kind of and turmoil. And speaking of whores, here we go. Hello? How are you doing? Are you sick? Am I what? Are you sick right now? No, no, no. But here it's uh, 5 a.m. So I have oh, to be you're, a little um, back quiet. At, um, don't tell me the place. Don't tell me. What does it start with? It starts with A. Fuck. A, 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 A. What's the next letter? U. You crack. No. Fuck. <laughs> Austria. <laughs> Austria, yes. Yeah. Um, why are you back yes. there? Uh, because um, I'm visiting family, visiting home. I haven't been there been since there uh, like Christmas. I gained a lot of weight. I said you've been there for like a week already. Yes, I'm flying back to um, uh, to L.A. on Friday. On Friday. And you know, I got a friend in L.A. And she's listening to this right now. Her name's Adore. And she said that she want to have um, S.E.X. with you. I'm just relaying the message. So if you find your friend, it, huh? Your friend wants to have SEX with me? Yeah, she says she wants to be your sugar mama. Her name is Adore Delano. So if you go to Instagram and search Adore Delano, you'll find if she's right there and then you type in her um her um her DMs. And tell her what what I said. Tell her Terry just sent you. She's listening right now. She can hear. But you, I'm just telling you what she said to me. <laughs> What's her name? Adore Delano. Adore Delano. Okay. Yeah. And she, okay, um, okay. she's looking to get um a dick. <laughs> But anyways, enough about me. Uh, I mean, enough about her. Um, how was your flight down? How long is the flight? Uh, the flight is usually around 12 hours. 12 um, hours. Depending if I fly direct or if I have to stop in Germany or Switzerland. But um, uh, this time it's a direct flight, so it's 12 hours. All right. Have you been to Europe? I actually have. Because I went to um, the Vatican. I ain't, I ain't um, Catholic or nothing, mm -hmm. but my mama said it's um, necessary for a Christian person to be able to go to the um, Vatican and meet the Pope. Um, to, um, she said that's the closest thing we got to God. So um, I went to go meet him um, a few years back. He took me in the back room and he um, told me I was being a bad girl and he spanked me with a paddle. And then um, a few other things happened in the room, but um, he told me I shouldn't speak about that. Said that was between me and the Lord. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that's as far as I went in Europe. How about yourself? Besides Austria, you been anywhere else? Yeah, I've been to Italy, been to France. Um, I've been all over as a kid and teenager. Is but I definitely own? want to check out the U.S. some more, um, uh, uh, because it's it's a big country and I still want to explore. What's you your got, favorite part uh, of the U.S.? What's my favorite part of the U.S.? Louisiana, where I'm from. It's the only part of the U.S. as far as I'm concerned, because everywhere else is full of homosexuals and and, and uh, colored people. So, yeah. So what's what's new with you? Nothing much. I just um been sitting in my house, um, going to church the same old same old. Nothing new. Oh, you know what? I did get my period for the first time. I did at the age of nineteen. I'm a late bloomer, mama says. Mama says she got hers when she was seven. And I've been waiting and waiting and waiting on mine, but I just got mine last week. Yeah, you know, um, I was in the restroom and I was taking a shit, 
and then I um I start to smell something fishy, which is not usually um it's not um anything new to me, like the fishy smell, but it was kind of more pungent. It smelled a little coppery too, like penny, pennies and fish. Um, so I looked down and I saw it was the blood, and I said, "Oh my God, I think I'm on um uh, the on deathbed." And I went to go tell my mom, and she um told me I just uh got my period for the first time. Yeah. Wow, fantastic. And you know, mama says, I'm a lady now. So she said, I can get pregnant and have a baby and move out of her house. So I'm just saying, if you want to impregnate somebody like me, you let me know. Yeah. Yeah. Is that really? something you can um, into or no? Is that something that what? I said, is that something you could be into? What time is it in uh, Austria? 5.40 a.m. 5.40? Yeah, that, that, that's why um, I look a little tired today. Yeah, you just woke up. Yes, I just woke up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm back, back in L.A. Friday. Sorry? Have you brushed your teeth yet? Uh, no, I have not. Okay, put your mouth in the camera. <laughs> you know, I ain't looking like the stitches and that. Making an Earl Grey tea. Earl Grey. And yeah, I got an uncle named Earl. He passed away though. Wait a minute, who are you looking at? Who are you talking to? Who are you looking at? Who are you talking to? That's your mom. <laughs> My um, my mother is, is is still sleeping, and I woke her up. Oh, okay. Um, you remember you told me about your brother. You told me that he lived in Austria. Where is he at right now? He's uh, he's sleeping. In the same house. Yes. Take the camera to him. Let me see him. I can't do that. Yes, you can't. You're his older brother, right? You can do whatever you want to do. Um. Take the oh, camera to him and let's do it. Yeah, no, I, I can't do that. Otherwise, um, they're going to freak out. Well, um, but, um, Adora Delano said that she wanted you to do it. Doro, who, uh, Doro Delano. Adora Delano. You don't forget that name because I'm, I'm not, I'm being serious. She wants you. She says she likes you and she wants you. She wants your Instagram, and she wants you to come over to her house. She lives in L.A. <laughs> oh, my God. I ain't kidding you. Um. <laughs> yep. Um, but anyways, um, well, I don't know what to do. Um, would you ever visit me in Austria? Um, if you pay for it, sure, because I can't, I can't afford no ticket out of the U.S. The only way we got to the Vatican that one time is because Papa, um, made a deal with his boss. Um, Papa said that he, uh, did something unspeakable with his boss to get those tickets. So, um, that's the only way we ever went to the U. I mean, out of the U.S. So, if you pay for it, I sure can. Absolutely. But you're leaving on the, you're leaving on the damn, uh, Friday, so how the hell are we gonna meet up? True. So next time. Next. So time. I think it's it's time for you us to celebrate Christmas together. We can, you could just take me with. Wait a minute. How would Adore Delano feel about that? Ah, oh, she's gonna join as well. The whole. We're gonna the whole have crew. a menage a trois. The whole the whole crew is a gonna join. A menage a trois. Me, you, and Adore Delano. Yeah, dream team. Hello. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Well, um, I'm just saying. We don't have to wait to go to Austria for that. I can fly to California because um, I got a cousin who lives out there and I can stay with her. And actually, y'all can stay with her too because she's loaded. She's got a big house. If y'all want to come over, y'all can. We can make it a four yards for her. That's four people. The Lord knows yeah. me and Georgia yeah. did a couple of things in our youth. Um, like Southern people usually do with their cousins. But um, I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, uh, no, absolutely. You, me, Adora or Dora. Enjoy. Um, uh, Christmas. Dora. Yes. Dora. But anyways, mm -hmm. well, you let me know when you get back to California, and I might just come on down there. We can get, um, give me and Dora, and Boots can start something up. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I will let you know right away. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll see you then. So, so anybody else besides Dora who's going to join? Um, Boots, and maybe even Sniper. Uh, maybe even Sniper. <laughs> Okay, Boots, Sniper, Dora, you, and and, me. Uh, and you. Okay. Yeah. This is uh -huh. the Swiper. I mean, Swiper, not Sniper. Swiper. Swiper. Uh -huh. Yeah. Not Sniper. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, your hair looks beautiful today. Thank you. I wish I could say the same, but the, the uh, front of yours is thinning, so. Yeah, well. You know, might as well just go bald, right? As it should. Yeah, that's all right, because you can just get hair plugs. My cousin can pay for that if you want it. Um, I think I think I'm just going to get a transplant, to be honest with that's you. That's what I'm saying. It, it's in, yeah. My it's in the, it's in the family. It's, it's in the family, so why not? Yeah. They'll just take a, a slab of your skin in the back, and um, they take that slab of the skin off, and then they take the follicles out of the hair. And they make sure they're still alive and they place it right in, in here. And then they sew your skin back up. You know, I know that because my papa went and got it before he left uh. mom. And mom says that was a, a sign that he was a damn homosexual. Because ain't no straight man worried about their hair losing. I mean, them losing hair because they could just shave that shit off. You know what I'm saying? Mama said that she should have known right then and there that he was a homosexual. Yeah. One second, I... I just need to get some milk. Don't you worry. Don't you worry about nothing. You ain't bothering me now. You sure as hell ain't. You gonna drink that milk right here, right on camera? How about you drink from the carton? Just do a little waterfall for us. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's been on here for too fucking long. And you know what? I know, um, Santa or nothing. I just, um, I like what I say. And I see what I like. And I'm just saying.